Hi, it's Peter again. I have a new video to show you and actually this is um, part one of a two-part set of videos and what this is going to be showing is a new feature that I have now that allows um, AVX and Eva to um, talk to uh, Google Talk so you can do instant messaging and it uses the XMPP gateway and so it will work with other accounts as well. Right now I've only tested Google Talk and I've tested Jabber uh, unfortunately right now it's not going to work with Facebook Messenger just yet or Yahoo Messenger but those um, I may be able to integrate a little bit later. But anyway I'm going to show you, first of all this video is just going to show you uh, the messaging aspect of it and setting things up and the second video I'll do is going to show you actually how you can remote control um, your uh, phone EVA or AVX from one phone to another. So. Anyway, just bear with me and I'll give you a bit of a demonstration here. So let's talk about, uh, first of all, setting up your accounts here um, in AVX. And I've already set it up, but I'll show you. Your settings are displayed. You see we Tab have uh, a new section now, options. instant messaging. And when I'm talking in the help documentation, everything, I use the terms instant messaging and chat and chat interchangeably. So I'm talking about the same thing. But if we tap on that, it's very similar to the way you set up your email so it shows there the number of accounts that you have configured and I've got two right now um, and then the same type of um, features that we have with text messaging and email and Facebook and and Twitter and such for what functions what to do when holding uh, when silent mode and all that sort of stuff with respect to your messages and, and when you're sending out messages the read back of the sentence and your prompts and confirm that's all documented in there and I've shown it in some of the other videos it works just the same with this so I'll just skip over that right now if I tap on the accounts and when you set yours up you'll have zero initially the following accounts are configured tap on one for details say delete and the number to remove so I've actually set up the two different accounts that I've been testing with here and the first one, the Google Talk one, that's my uh, regular email account and, and pretty much everybody who has a Gmail account you automatically have a, a Google Talk account, it's the same thing and you don't have to uh, sign up or do anything special for it, it's already there um, because it's it really is just your Google account and Jabber, that's just another online messaging service, you can sign up for an account that's free, um, register.jabber.org and the reason why I have two accounts here is because I'm going to have one account um, on the Nexus 7 here which is the Jabber one that I'll be using and over here on the uh, um, S3 I'll be using the Google Talk account so basically have two accounts so talk from one to the other and normally when you're just doing messaging you'll just have your Google Talk account and your friends will have their account and so you'll have the messages coming in and going back out just using Google Talk but for the purpose of doing this demo I've got the Jabber account and also when I show you the remote control in the next video um, I'll be using the Jabber account. So let's see, we'll just tap on this. The details for this account are displayed. Tap on an item to change it. So similar to when you're setting up an email, when you choose to add a new account, the first thing it's going to ask you for is a name and I've just chosen Google Talk because that's really what it is. And so when you refer to that account, if you wanted to disable it, see I've got read enable turned on right now. If you wanted to disable it, I can just say disable Google Talk and that will turn that off. So I don't actually have to come in here to toggle it on and off. And again, because all this stuff is profile dependent, you can have this account um, turn on and off depending on which profile you're using. So when you're setting up a new account, um, it will automatically put your email address in there, change it if it's not your Gmail account, it will ask you for your password and then it's going to automatically put in the default address and port numbers for you and you shouldn't have to touch any of those for your Google account and same when you're setting up or if you're setting up a Jabber account same type of thing it'll automatically put the defaults in there the only thing you'll have to do is it defaults to a username of user at jabber.org and you'll have to replace the word user with whatever username you chose for your Jabber account and then obviously put your password in and everything else will be the defaults and the last five options there are the same as for what email what to do with incoming messages um, contact record required for where it's reading uh, messages coming in and marking messages as read that actually I'm going to take that out because it, that doesn't work um, so just ignore that for right now um, and then outgoing default again um, that's if you're sending check, chat messages and I don't think that that's active right now so I'll be checking that again 
and the read enabled is whether uh, this particular account is active so you might want to turn it on and off all right so the next thing that we want to do here is once you've got that set up you can actually go and see which uh, users or which friends for that account are there so you would just say something like this yes Pete display my chat contacts I have listed the chat contacts you currently have okay so that shows all the different contacts you have there and then the ones you will see it has a status next to each of them and then next to that in parentheses as well it has what status that you've actually set that person to so you'll see um, we've got priority for Dan and, and Max has included and then this Peter Muller one which is mine that's my Jabber account and that's why it doesn't have a picture actually my other account does show up with a picture but you'll see you've got three different statuses that you can have there priority included or super um, these are similar to the ones that I put on uh, contacts for when you're sending uh, emails and, and text messaging but they're slightly different um, if you want to text or sorry chat with anybody on your list here the first thing that you need to do is make them included and that way it includes their name in in the list of names that's listening for so when you'll say um, chat with Peter if you haven't included Peter um, then you're not going to be able to chat or just say I don't know who that person is because um, you might be like me and you might have you know I've got almost a thousand users on here um, I guess all these the different people that I've had contact with with respect to uh, Eva and AVX so I obviously I don't want to have all their names listening for that because I'm never gonna chat with all these different names so it's just a waste so in this case uh, on, the, on the regular text messaging you would be um, ignoring a person here you actually got to include it so what you do is you just basically swipe on their name here and you'll see it toggles from blank to super to priority and back to included so you got those three different statuses so included is basically means you will be able to use that person's name to say chat with Max um, and also if a message comes in from Max it will read that message whereas if a message if somebody who's on your list sends you a text message if they're not included they'll just ignore it um, you know you might have people sending you messages that you just don't want to be read out just the same as you do with your text messages so you have to put them included if you want it to be read out then the next level up from included is priority and priority means that it's the same as included you can actually send a message to that person um, but when a message comes in from that person if you have your chat messages being held it will ignore that held status and it will just start reading that message out anyway um, again this was the feature to allow you to put people like your spouse or somebody who you're working on an important project um, as a priority and so if you hold all your other messages those ones will still come through and then the last one is the super status and the super status is has the same features as included and priority so in other words messages you can use that name to send out messages messages will come in that person is also a priority but it also means that that person can remote control this phone now so and I'm going to show you that a little bit now and a little bit in, in or more in the second video but it means that they can actually use a different device may, it may be a device like this it may be using Evo or AVX it may be just using a chat messaging um, program it may be from a desktop or whatever but any basically any chat if they're one of these people on your list here they have a chat client somewhere and they can ac actually have access to remotely control your phone so you say well why would I want to use that well it's going to be up to you to figure out why you'd want to use that but I'll show you some examples of what I've managed to come up with so let's see um, so that's how you display your contacts um, and how you change the status so you, if, if you're going to be sending messages to anybody on your list or receiving them you want to at least change them to included um, and you can instead of showing the whole list up here you can say display chat contacts containing Peter and it will only show the ones with the word Peter in the name so that's more of a quick way instead of having to scroll through all your list there okay so once you've set up your contacts like that um, then uh, the next thing you want to do is um, maybe try sending a message to somebody to see if it works okay so I've got my Peter Muller one there that's my my Jabber account and back over here on the Nexus 7 I have this program called Zabber which sounds like Jabber but it's Zabber with an X and 
this has, this is a just a, a regular chat messaging program, and I have my Jabber account up in here set up, um, and with uh, you know the different friends that I have showing under that. Now, in this case, I've only got one, and this account that's showing here, this is my Gmail account. So the one with my picture there, that's my Gmail account. So on this phone here, I've got my or Gmail or Google Talk. This one here is set up with my Google Talk account, and that's active and this one over here is my Jabber account. Okay, so if I, send, if I say I want to send a message to Peter, and I can just tap on this record, but I can also say chat with Peter, so I'll just try that. Yes, sir. Chat with Peter, what's going on? Your message has been sent to Peter Muller. And you can see it came up there. So you can tap on here and, and see the whole history, and I, I can write back and say, not much. New message received from Peter Muller. Would you like to hear the message? Yes. No much. Would you like to reply to this message? Yes. New message to Peter Muller. Go ahead. That's cool. That's cool. Done. Your message has been sent to Peter Muller. Okay, so you can see I'm basically communicating back and forth, and this could be any chat client that has access to send messages to my Google Talk account. Okay, so I'm basically going back and forth there. Um, you might want to do something else. So, say for example, you're chatting with your friend, and they're on their Jabber account, or they're on their Google Talk on the desktop, and you want to tell them about um, about AVX about the software, so you can do this. Yes, Pete. Tell Chat Peter about you. Yeah, oh, didn't get the chat. Yes, Peter. Tell Chat Peter about you. I'll try it again. Yes, Peter. Tell Chat Peter about you. Yes, sir. Tell Chet Peter about you. Please confirm that you want to tell Peter Muller about me by saying confirm. Confirm. I have sent a message to Peter Muller telling them about me. Okay, so you can see the message came across. And the reason why I'm having trouble with this, on this wooden floor here, um, gets a bit of an echo, and I guess it sounds a little bit differently than when I'm normally talking with the phone in my hand, so sometimes the voice recognition has problems when I'm doing the demo like that. Um, anyway, so you can see that sent a little message saying check out AVX for Android. I don't know how well you can see that with the glare there, but there's it's saying check out AVX for Android. Um, I'm using AVX on my phone and it's cool, and there's a link there, and, and you can they can tap on that link and that goes right to the uh, Google Play there, and um, will bring up AVX. And you can do the same function with um, telling somebody where you are. So you can, I could just say, uh, tell Chat Peter where I am, and it'll send a link with the um, with a Google uh, Google Maps link to where my location is. And the reason why I'm using the word Chat in front of my name there is because I have my other account, which is text for text messaging. And if I just said tell Peter about you, it would send a text message to Peter. If you had um, only one Peter in your thing that was that was only for chat, then you could just say tell Peter about you and it would just use the chat one um, instead of using the text messaging one. So anyway, that's basically why I qualified that with the, with the word chat. All right, let's see what else we've got here. Um, yeah, I mentioned that Facebook and Yahoo uh, messaging isn't working yet, um, and hopefully I'll be able to put that in soon. But right now you can use your Google, court, uh, Google Talk account for this. and. Um, at least be able to send messages to anybody who, who can access your Google Talk account. All right, so I'll finish up this video and then I'll start the other video and you can watch that one and that'll show how to do the remote control.